In this part, I will discuss about cell notation, which is used as a shorthand for denoting electrochemical cells. For this purpose, I will start with some chemical reactions in which both oxidation and reduction is taking place. Look at the following reaction. Our first job is to write the oxidation and reduction half reactions. The standard electrode potentials or reduction potentials are taken from the chart. Now we check whether the standard electrode potential of the reduction half cell is greater than the standard electrode potential of the oxidation half cell. Here it's indeed so. This means that the cell reaction is spontaneous and we can easily consider this as cathode reaction and this one as anode reaction. The shorthand cell notation is something like this. See clearly that there are some vertical lines drawn. The single vertical lines indicate the interface of the solid and aqueous phase where the oxidation or reduction reaction is actually taking place. The double vertical line indicates the salt bridge. There are some important points to note. The anode is written on the left and the cathode on the right. The sequence of the cell notation starts from the left and passes through the solid bridge and then goes to the right. The physical state of the solid electrode is mentioned within parenthesis. In case of electrolytes, the concentration in molarities is mentioned within parenthesis. In this case, there is an ionic flow within this cell in this direction which maintain electron neutrality within the cell but the anions do not take part in the cell reaction and are called spectator ions. Spectator ions are not shown in the cell notation. The salt used in the salt bridge can be mentioned over here. Let's come up with some other reactions. Now we break up the reaction into oxidation and reduction half reactions. Standard electrode potential of the cathode is higher. This means reaction is spontaneous. These reactants are not in the same phase and also there is no possibility of contact. So in this case, we do not need any salt bridge. In the oxidation reaction, there is no solid phase. We write an inert electrode like platinum. In the cathode reaction, there are two solids and one aqueous phase which is the example of a metal metal insoluble salt salt anion electrode so the cell notation is written like this it is to be noted that the concentration in molarities should be mentioned within parenthesis for aqueous phase and pressure in atmospheres should be mentioned within parenthesis for gaseous phase comma is written instead of double vertical line because there is no salt bridge See the diagram carefully. There is no possibility of contact between H2 gas and AgCl solid. So there is no salt bridge. Let's consider another reaction. Now we break the reaction into oxidation and reduction half reactions. Here standard electrode potential of the reduction half cell is higher. So the reaction is spontaneous. Here there is no solid phase in reduction and oxidation reaction. So we have to use inert electrode for both cathode and anode. For example, graphite electrode. So for anode, we first write the graphite electrode like this, then a single vertical line to indicate the phase interface of the anodic compartment. Then we write all the aqueous phase ions mentioning their concentration within parenthesis and separated by comma then a double vertical line for salt bridge. Then we write aqueous phase ions of the cathode compartment in the same way. Then again we indicate the cathode graphite electrode after a single vertical line. 